Today in this video we're going to learn how to make a beautiful map of the United States of America. Maybe this is something you just want to do for fun. You want to learn how to bring in all the states on Google Map Maps or maybe you have some kind of real uh, need and maybe a job as I did a few years ago to make a map of Colorado and Minnesota. Or um, maybe you want to do this as part of an education project or for to teach some people how to use Google My Maps or perhaps the United States of America. So what we're first going to do, I'm going to close this, we're going to go to Google and we're going to Google cartographic boundary files dot KML. Cartographic boundary files came out. This is basically just a really fancy way of saying we want some map data. KML is a file format, I believe, called named for key markup language. It's used to store the uh, the nerdy GPS um, map boundary file data. Okay, when we do this Google search, you'll see quite a few things, but we're only interested in the data from www.census.gov. They're the ones that manage and maintain all this data, or they're the ones that we care about. And um, hopefully, you know, I'm searching this in 2020. Hopefully, it's still called the same thing years later. Cartographic boundary files, KML. This is the one we want. Okay, so when we go here, We'll see, we can actually go year by year if we wanted to see what things looked like back in 2013, 2018. Um, there's a whole bunch of interesting data here. County lines, division lines, some data about cities, the nation area, urban areas. You can download a lot of stuff here. But we're interested in the states. So here's our state data. The rule of thumb is that if you want more accurate data, it's going to be a larger file. Google My Maps has a um, pretty significant disadvantage that you can only, at this current time, you can only upload a max file. KML file of 5 megabytes. So we're going to be safe here and download um, the 5 meter data resolution. This means that the data is valid up to 5 meters. Don't be fooled here. It says 1 megabyte, but this is a zip file. So that means that this is a little under 1 megabyte for the zip file, but we have to, as you probably know, just download the file and it's shown the finder. We have to unzip it. So I have a Mac. Macs are a little easier in Windows doing this. I can just double click and it unzips it for me. So in this case, the zip file was 777 kilobytes. When I go in this thing, the KML file, see how it says .kml at the end? The one that interesting is actually 2.4 megabytes. So we're still safe here because it's under 5 megabytes. All right, so what we're going to do now, now that we have this downloaded, <clears throat> that's the hard part. Um, we're going to go to My Maps Google. Google Maps, My Maps. This is the one that we want. We have a lot of maps here. Click Create a New Map. Let's call this United States of America. Okay. See this little button that says import? This is where we do the fancy things. So drop a CSV, blah, 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 or KML. This is the one we, we care about. Let's go to our finder.
and drop the KML. See the KML. Not these other two. These are useless to us. The KML. Drop it in. Uh, if Google cooperated, it will take just a few seconds. And bam. Here's our map. Okay, it's um, it works, but it's not so cool looking. I wonder if we could do anything to make it look a little prettier. Well, for starters, Google, Ma Google Maps, My Maps, allows you to put a label. Now, in this data, let's just click on the state. I lived in Colorado for a while, so let's click on Colorado. So, we have some interesting data points here. Area of land, area of water, the name of the state. Okay, so in interesting stuff. I would like, let's say, I want every state to have its name on the state. So let's set labels name. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Sometimes you have to zoom in to see everything. All right, now let's see that there's some other interesting data here. We could put the area of hmm, the water. In addition, we can click on the state itself and Google tells us the boundary at the bottom. More accurate it is. So this says area of land. Hmm. I have to check what the units are for that. But we can tell. Individual styles. I like the name. Okay. Now let's say we're doing this for a project or something. Or let's say you and your significant other want to mark down the states that you have been to. So let's see, I'm from Alabama. So I marked this with a nice green color. I've also been to Mississippi. And Georgia. And I lived in Kentucky. Let's give that a different color. I also lived in Tennessee. I remember a very cold winter there. Let's get rid of blue. You know, one state I've always wanted to go to is Maine, but only in the summer. So let's mark it with a nice red. So we can have some fun here. I think that's about it. We can do some other interesting things here. We can make the polygon more transparent or less. Okay. Um, let's do a nice blue. We can make the borders very, very thick. Sometimes it's nice to just have a little extra thickness than what the default Google gives us. So that's about it. We can do a lot of other fun things. We can change the base map, satellite, or some kind of topo, a terrain map. We can add layers and add landmarks. But I think that's about it for now. This is how you make a map of the United States of America in Google My Maps. I hope you enjoyed.